Below ground near Burnaby Central Park is a water main that has been a key part of the region's water system since it was installed in the 1930s. Now it's reaching the end of its service life. 100 years is a long time for any water main and now it has a higher leakage ratio. It's costing us more to maintain and repair. So it needs to be replaced now. Also, the city of Burnaby and New Westminster are experiencing population demand growth. So we need to upsize these water mains as well to ensure high quality drinking water is maintained in the future. The new Central Park water main will have significantly larger pipes at 1.2 meters wide and 227 million liters of water will flow through it every day. It spans approximately 12 kilometers across Burnaby and New Westminster. The Imperial section covers 3.4 kilometers along Imperial Street. The project will be implemented in two phases, each phase being 1.7 kilometers long down Imperial. The work zone itself will be two to 300 meters long. Um, in some sections, two lanes, in other sections, three lanes, causing uh, road closures and traffic impacts for the local community. Similar work has been happening nearby at the Douglas Road Water Project, which also connected Burnaby and New Westminster with older pipes in need of replacement. Both projects have seismic upgrades built into the new design, so they will be more resilient in the event of an earthquake, helping strengthen the region's water security. It's important that we do this because the water main has reached the end of its service life. The time is now to complete this work. We have all of the resources now to do this work. We have some great contractors and we have all of our pipe here. So we are confident that we will install this water main quickly with the least amount of impacts as possible. By replacing aging infrastructure like the Central Park water main, Metro Vancouver is ensuring a resilient future for the region and high quality drinking water for generations to come.